What do you seek? Do you know anything about a demon that would be worshipped by your clan? It is not enough to take us for idiots, and now you accuse us of bowing down to evil creatures. But a lack of understanding leads to fear, so I will not prove you wrong. An enemy who knows fear is already defeated. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. They came to meet us and used their magic to shake our minds, tempt us to turn away from our ways. But it takes more than a few illusions to make us abandon our beliefs. They gave up and left, and we do not miss their presence. The woman and her guards came after that. They are more silent, but we keep our eyes open wide. Anything more? I need to be going. Well, I'm sick. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burd tir dumad renaikse. Oi and the donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But it is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Kwa Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Can't you leave us alone? Monisanai! Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Leave me be! Even your thoughts are loud and break my peace! Birtir to Madrenaikse. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. This is a delicate question, but would you know anything about a demon? A demon? I think that that is what the bright and shiny mind shakers call the spirits, no? There are spirits everywhere. In you, and in us, in each tree, in each spring. There is not only one. I cannot tell you more if you are not more precise in what you seek. Let's try something else. Are you on all Manawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. The Moin Shakers came here to our home and tried to convince us to abandon our ways. No one wanted to listen to them, so they finally decided to leave. I suppose that they were full of disappointment, or angry, or simply tired. And then the others arrived. The woman is truly strange. She is aggressive and spies on us at every turn. I would prefer that she leaves as well. It was fun. More than with a woman who makes light, she did not want to play.
Ernaixe ya toigen quahesa de elodeis, Samel Mila, mach de wegander. Leave me be! Even your thoughts are low. Can't you leave us alone? Monison. Traitor. An Anolmenawe does not wear the dress of the strangers. Go away, Renaigse. You are not welcome in my home. Birtir to Mad, an Almanawi. What do you want? This question will seem strange to you, but do you know anything about a demon? A demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong. Said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left, and then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods. Or cross paths with wild beasts. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. What can you tell me about the, the belief our we believe in the, in the, in the boy do not? I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the Luminous Faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by seeing. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. That eccentric young lady could help us. She seems to like you. Or of course. Do you want something? Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? More questions? You really like this game. You really do. If we could avoid the... Very well. But be brief then, because it is not good fun. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. I really must go inside. I need to clarify something. If you can help us. My child, 
I understand you might be shocked by this request, but have no fear. We have no intention of taking or destroying anything. We would just like to put to rest a few rumors. You are one of them, aren't you? One of these men who shake our mind. A man of the light. Well, that's correct. I am a priest of Teleme. All of that are just words. And it is not fun. If you want my help, I want the hat of the mind shaker woman. Very well. I will go and ask her. But I cannot promise that she will accept. Go away, Renoix. Go away, Re such a thing unless they're worshipping some dark creature. I will admit that it's rather ghastly, but I'm almost certain that the warriors of this island wear these things in battle. This altar is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This painting is frightening, evoking war, a massacre, a bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these bloody horrors. Did you learn anything? No, nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here.
Where could our man have gone? These roots are more. This must be where he went. Child, you are very pale, as if you just saw something terrible. That's precisely what has happened. For a brief moment, I was this tree. This is truly some strange sorcery. What exactly did you see? Perhaps it is some sort of key. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap began to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. The drawing on this stone represents lightning. Here this looks like a snowflake. This stone is blackened, eaten away. This stone has an image of the moon. On this stone, the sun is visible. This drawing looks like an infant. The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. The drawing on this stone resembles a symbol that must represent the Earth. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe in life you protect me in this battle! Yeah. To my house! And death to the others! Tell us again exactly what you saw, my child. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel. And the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot. I must have lit the candles in the wrong order. Maybe I'm not to protect me in this battle. Tell us the story about the tree again. 
I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. Tell us the story about the tree again. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was. Calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots. And at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap begin to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. This island really is full of surprises. Quiet. Close duis at the yam canadado le tadulan verandi alone elles again ole vei. Klossi garamam i telami ol flinau ich egrem. Klossi gedem da jentis ol arabini a ol slai. Vankwa sa kengedem fra dem a digalem. Linkwid winter buso galansani. Tugon benis gremos nigawi. Renkasi e krimadrem de negao edent. Kloss duis a ruiecht nes diri. Lois de Drama na Deis Gideon, a renta. Esparno Fradi, da Magengalan, ya diga la dandean. Esparno Fradi, da we gaishidon. Ag Esparno Fradi, da we gremo senabui. There is no longer. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. I am not from Teleme. I cast no judgment upon your beliefs. But if you want us to help you, you need to help us understand. I doubt that you would be able to understand. But 
Very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Renoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion, but if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come, though what you will hear may not be to your liking.